Hello everyone, this is my talk about Smart Homey and I will dive right in. Why did I actually start Smart Homey? Well, I started out with Home Assistant. What is Home Assistant? It's a open source Python based Smart Home implementation. Um, after a bit of research I figured that it's the most developed one that wraps the most devices and has active development going on. And what it actually does is that it connects a lot of existing Python libraries to talk with the devices. So all of these Python libraries are standalone and it just puts a web page around them and connects all the devices with a async threaded event loop. I encountered quite a few problems with Home Assistant. So there were a few bugs like vanishing devices without any error, um, wrong sensors and things like that, um, and, or devices that just went offline and didn't react anymore. And after playing around a bit with the underlying Python libraries, I figured that most bugs came actually from Home Assistant and their event loop because the Python libraries seemed fairly stable that talked to the devices. Also, there's a huge boilerplate for adding new sensors and devices. So if you actually look at this, um, here that's one simple temperature and humidity sensor. And this is not even the worst example. And the same one in Julia looks like this which is just a couple lines of code without all that boilerplate. So, like with all projects, I decided to write this in Julia and connect those existing Python libraries directly with PyCall in Julia and put a little web page around it that runs on the Raspberry Pi. Now to give you a quick Overview over the smart home, that's how it looks like here on this web page. You see I have a couple of sensors and lights and plugs and I'll just grab my camera and show you directly the devices. So this is my current smart home with a dust sensor, light sensor, humidity and temperature, the Raspberry Pi and the e-ink clock which also has humidity and temperature. Um, I stream it to a tablet, to the computer, it goes everywhere. And I have a light here that's also connected to a plug. And a smart light as well. So as you can see, I can turn this lamp on and off via the switch. I can also turn on and off my light and change the brightness and color temperature. Okay, now let's look at some code. Smart Homey is just a monorepository with quite a few sub packages, so you will actually need to clone it outside the package manager and then push the directory to the load path. Um, we're using JSSurf to create this little web page here, and I'm also written tp-link as a package which links up the tp-link smart bulb and smart switches. Smart Homey is just like an abstraction over sensors and devices and makes sure they're integrating nicely with the web page. And I've wrapped a couple of sensors. Um, you can just create them like, like this. So this is the dust sensor. This is the Bluetooth e-ink clock, which needs a Bluetooth address. And the humidity sensor needs to have the pins. Then you can start the event loop for these sensors in a thread. And you can also use TP-Link um, to query the devices. This uh, will take a bit and then you get an array of devices um, and then you can filter out the lights and the plugs. 
Right now I don't forward the name of the sensors to the sensors in the constructor, so you need to set them separately. What's cool about this is that it's reactive, so you see it changes immediately if you change something and if you actually update something. So yeah, I could for example um, quite easily just use one plug here and then this plug would be gone. Now, um, I've written a couple of helpers here, which could be easily extended in the future. This is pretty much a surf um, dependent. I've did, I did this little card construct, which wraps these um, groups of sensors and lights. Uh, it just has a title and it can have arbitrary children as that get displayed here. And I use JSSurf to emit some HTML for this. Um, I don't go into this into detail, but I'm actually using Tailwind for very easy customization of the looks. And I will talk a bit more about this in my JSSurf talk if you're interested how this works. But you can basically make everything renderable and then you can insert it into the DOM and it will get displayed like that. Um, then putting this whole thing together is just about um, putting these cards in here, putting the sensors in there, they will get rendered, the children will get rendered recursively with functionality I put into Smart Homey. And then we just create the little Julia header and um, include the assets like Tailwind. And then you can start this on your Raspberry Pi. Just very quickly, I tried to make these sensors composable really nicely. So there's this attribute um, that one can use for all the different attribute that a sensor or a device might ha have. And you can just compose them in your own struct um, freely and it will render correctly and will create all the correct input and output devices so you can directly include them in the JSurf web page. And the web app here that I've showed you is on GitHub. So you can look at the GitHub repository, clone this and try this out at home. All right, thanks very much. And I hope people will try this out and help improving this. Thank you.